Okay, this video is going to review how to set up scenes. Um, I already have four here, so I'm going to kind of show you how they work, and then I'm going to pause and actually kind of like delete them out so I can show you how to start from the beginning. So scene one um, is just kind of oh, I have, getting into my model and seeing this so I could put up my light fixtures and kind of figure out where I wanted them to go. So I have things like a ceiling turned on, but I turned off everything on this wall, which I think in my case is my east wall. Scene two is now zooming in closer, and this is what might be like my final image that I might use on my poster. Then scene three uh, takes me over to the living room where I have a backdrop for that now too on the exterior, which we talk about in another video. And then scene four is kind of pivoting around and kind of playing with how I would do a view out of this window. Um, you also at some point want to move your default tray because you want to be able to see some of the things going on here. So actually in this case, this wall is still off. So I might need to fix that also because my, my tray was in the way of it. Um, but these are all ways to basically uh, almost like set it up like a photo shoot. And these are the images that you'll either share digitally with a client or in class, we're going to put on like presentation boards. Um, these are also really great to have, especially say like this kitchen one, as you're kind of building and working in spaces, just so you can kind of more easily pivot in and see. So big projects, I'll end up having like 20 or 30 of these. You also, right now, I only have four, so it's easy to keep track of them. But if I go over here to scenes, this tab here, I can rename them here and I can also reorder them. So again, on bigger projects, I'll often have it set up to as like a animation as we're presenting, um, but, but I'll have them labeled pretty well and I'll have them in the order of how we're gonna talk about things. Um, my firm actually doesn't run it as a full animation because I wanna be able to stop and pause it if clients have questions but for a lot of our students um it's great like by senior year some of you will do whole animated walkthroughs and have them as part of your like bfa presentation that you'll run it as like a little movie on the screen um and again it's a great way to literally walk people through their space and be able to envision um how it's going to look and feel um but all of that is controlled here um and like i said so there's additional tags you can kind of play around with here as you get more confident um, but as you make lots more of these, get in the habit of labeling them, please. It'll save you, your brain a lot of time and energy. All right, so I'm going to pause now and kind of undo some of this just to show you how to, how to do it from scratch, too. Okay, so here we are starting kind of from like the default view, the isometric view of it. I'm going to leave my backdrops here just because they were a pain in the butt to like move around and get in position. One thing you do want to do, especially if we're going to be like looking at windows at views, is start cleaning up all the extra stuff you have in here that you're no longer using. So I'm going to just delete all that kitchen stuff out. I'm all set with that. I don't need it. Um, just so you have a blank work plane. I also, in an earlier video, I turned off my, my floor on my ground. I'm going to put that back on real quick just so we can kind of have that as a visual reference to. Oh, hold on. It's jumping around there. All right. So here I had the sky and then the ground is going to be turned back on just so we can kind of see that uh, as we work through our space. So somewhere here, let's see the background. We got to do, do. There we go. There's our horizon line. Okay. So right now, if you have your ceiling on too, this is kind of like a closed box. So let's go, for example, the first view we want to do is through here to look into my kitchen. At some point too, I need to get a view out here because I do have a window there. So in my model, this is what's considered my north wall. So I'm going to go over to my tags and I'm basically going to turn off my north wall. Um, I can, no, I guess that's my north wall over there. All right. So this will be my, let's see if that's north, south, west, east. All right, we're going to turn off the east wall. That's here. I'm going to put this backdrop also now on the east wall, so it's out of my way. So I go up to ent Entity Info, and then when the drop down comes up, we're going to put that on the east la layer. Let's pause it again. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so now we're going to put it, so I'm going to click on this guy, put this instead of, for some reason it was on appliances, it's going to be wall east. So it's not deleted, it's just hidden right now. So then I'm gonna pivot around into here to set up this view. And I'm gonna be using, so I'm using kind of the scroller on my mouse. I also have this pivot tool right now. You can also use the pan tool to kind of get in and out. So I'm gonna probably use my pan tool so I can kind of hold down on my mouse, oops, hold on my, my left mouse and that kind of pans it around too. So this might be a, like a picture I'd present to my client. One of the things we also talk about in class is we want to get ourselves 
roughly at eye height level. That's kind of, you know, the natural viewpoint for a lot of us, obviously. Um, but you might find too, since this is a little bit of a tight space, we might have to play with that a little bit. All right, so this view is pretty good now. So, and I can, you know, come back and play with it a, a lot if I want to, but I'm gonna go up to camera. I'm gonna go, no, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go to view and then animation and then add a scene. And then just say yes to this. This is basically, you can change the styles, like this line styles per scene if you want, but we're gonna keep it as what we have. So we're gonna say create scene. All right, so that's the first one. Um, And it's kind of coming up there, should be up there in just a second. It's gonna roll around for a moment. All right, so there it is there, there's the scene one. Now, if I were to come back in here and I want to change things around at all, so maybe I've decided, eh, I wanna you know, go change my angle a little bit to here. Um, I can either add a new scene or I can update it. So to add a new scene is right click and we just say add. Um, I'll do that in a second, or we can update and then that'll save this is the default. Right now I'm gonna add it. So we're gonna have a scene one, which will be slightly more to the left and then scene two, which will pop up to the right. All right, so there's the scene one. So you can see we're kind of pivoting around a little bit differently. There's scene two. Now, say for example, for some crazy reason, I decided to paint the wall a different color. Um, I'll just do some weird brick for first, just a second. If I did here. Now, if I wanna update this, I'd right click and I'd say update and that will save that change. I'm gonna control Z out just so we don't, we don't see that lovely brick wall because that doesn't belong there. Okay, so the next scene I wanna do, for example, is maybe looking into my living room. So now I'm gonna, for me, pop back over to the default 3D view, which is up here. And then this time now I'm gonna go back to my tags and I'm gonna turn the east wall back on. And now I'm gonna turn off the north wall, which is kind of around the back corner here. So I'm gonna go this way into here and then kind of pivot my way in. Now there's gonna be a couple of things, like I've already cleaned this up <clears throat> and a lot of us spent time in class cleaning it up, but see that line right there? For some reason, I missed that guy. So I'm gonna right click on that. For some reason, it's part of my appliances. I'm gonna now put that instead on the north wall layer. And see, oops, there's a couple of them there. Let's see, there it is there. And then north wall. Okay, now it's gone. Now, um, a lot of my kitchen was here and I turned that off. So so I can kind of turn that back on for a second. But so that whole wall and everything along that wall, I then re I put on the north wall layer to basically clean this view up. So we can kind of pivot in this way. And I'll, I'll try to find a view where there's more cleanup to do. All right, here's a good example of what I was talking about. I just turned off my south wall and I haven't really done a view from this yet. So I need to put all these window pieces on the south wall layer. So I'm literally just kind of control clicking that'll allow me to pick multiples at one time. Then I go up here to entity info and I'm gonna pick the south wall. Um, but there's also all this outline of the window too. So easiest way is to try to like pivot around. I'm actually might take my ceiling off just so I can see it better. Yeah, I'm going to pivot this way. Now I have a clear view of all those lines, kind of get in there and then select as many as I can without selecting stuff in my living room. And then we're going to put that on the south layer and see there's still a few little kind of little bits here and there. So there's south layer there. And then we're going to get down and get this bit this bit here, put that also on the south layer. Now, another thing we talked about in class, oops, that's on west for some reason, there it is south. Um, most of us did our molding where we kind of swooped it around the room. So don't put the molding on the south layer because you want to be, still be able to see the molding on the left and the right of your view. And our view is going to be up over this molding, so it shouldn't be in the way. So if I want to add this as a new view, I go like this, I kind of shimmy myself in again. And like I said, I'm gonna be up over the molding. So I'm not gonna worry about the molding kind of down on the ground there on me. So then I'm gonna pivot a little bit more. Don't forget to put my ceiling back on. So it's right here. And then this would be another view I'll add. So I'll right click on scene three, say add. And then that's one that's starting to get ready to go. Also, again, one of the things you're gonna pay attention to is when I first set this up, I noticed even though I, put this light I thought I was centered out on the island it was actually way over here to the right um I also know I need a view out of this window I probably need some art over here this paint 
looks real orangey in reality it's actually like a tan but some of that is um right now light is flooding in from this where the south wall used to be so you know sketchup is trying to do its best to mimic what's happening in the real world and literally i just took the whole wall off so there's tons of light coming in so i may just like repaint or tweak this for each view which is fine and we understand that you have to do that i also realize i don't have door casing or around this opening here or this door here so there's a few other things i need to add i don't have a lot of lights or accessories but this is where like Early on in the process, we want you to get in the habit of setting up these scenes so right away you can see what's missing, uh, what might be floating for you too, or what's just not working visually. And that way you're kind of already thinking about uh, almost like the, the photography aspect of this. Like if you were the coming in and like taking a photo shoot for a magazine, what are the things that you need in here to make it a bit more realistic? But basically you're going to have, for my class, you're going to have about three or four views uh, we talked about in class that the kitchen is kind of like your big money maker. So we obviously want to see uh, at least one really good view of the kitchen and how it's going to function. Uh, we want to see the living room area and your dining room area. So that's three. Feel free to take more. And the more you have, the more options you'll have in putting together that final poster, depending on whether or not you want to crop something vertically, keep it horizontal. You know, the more options you have, the more you'll, you'll uh, be able to play with it in Photoshop too.